Mike! Baby, I'm back. Uh, Mike, what are you, um, doing home? I... Yeah, I know. It was supposed to be another week. But my unit got hit, and, uh, I was the only one who made it out. They gave me an honorable discharge. But we don't need to talk about that right now. I just really want to kiss you. What's wrong? I, uh... Anne, what the hell is that? Are you pregnant? It's, it's not a... Yet yeah, I'm not... Whose baby is that? I didn't know Tell that... me whose baby it is. I didn't know that you'd come back. We're married, Anne. I was at war and you're at home banging everybody? It's not... What is it, like a virgin birth or something? Because that's the only excuse that would work right now. Mike, please. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh Mike. my God. Mike. Mike. What? Oh my God. Good morning, Mr. Delaney. How was your night? Well, let me tell you about mine. Got home, cooked some dinner, and then watched YouTube videos for most of the night, which I realize doesn't sound like a lot of fun. That's what you do when you're a nurse. You just want to unwind after a long day at work. And let me tell you, dancing or drinking, that's not my game. Those days are behind me. Oh, good. I'm glad you're stable and doing fine. Let's hope you'll come out of this coma soon. And we'll be back with your wife to celebrate in no time. I wasn't expecting him. I couldn't just tell him everything there and then. What do you want me to do now? Is his wife coming in today? I wouldn't know. I thought I saw her in the hallways this morning. No? Well, I didn't see her anyway. I could have sworn it was her. Maybe it was just someone who looked like her. Probably. Well, you take care of Mr. Delaney for us, okay? I need to head to a meeting. Thank you, nurse. What do you think is going on with your wife and Dr. Turncrofts? I saw them head into his office this morning. I do think something weird is going on, if you ask me. Anyway, I'm done for tonight, but I will be back to check on you. Something weird is going on. Good morning, Mike. I was thinking maybe you like poetry. So I brought you in my favorite. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Let's see, something good. Who so loves, believes the impossible. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I thought it would brighten up your day the way it does mine.
Good morning, Mike. Let's see where we left off. Ah, there it is. Today's quote is, you're something between a dream and a miracle. I'm starting to like this browning lady. Oh my God. Where am I? Um, you're okay. You're in the hospital. You've been in a car crash. You've been unconscious for about a week. I just remember being in the car and I don't remember anything else. That's okay. Let me just get Dr. Turncroft's and... Oh my God, I'm so happy you're awake. Doctor? <laughs> Mr. Delaney, good morning. So glad to see you're awake. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm still in a lot of pain. We'll get you something for that, don't worry. Uh, I'm really stiff too. I can't... Uh, you, you will be for a while. Uh, they told me you had a head-on collision with a tree. I'll be back shortly. In the meantime, uh, Nurse uh, Oakland here is going to do some tests to see how your brain's functioning. Make sure everything's working correctly. Just a few questions. How's that sound? Yeah, wh whatever you need, Doc. All right. Thank you, Nurse. Of course. All right. Okay. Well, it's good to see you smiling. We weren't sure how you were going to take it once you were brought in. Smiling because you remind me of my first girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> well, she must have been a lucky girl. Okay, a few questions. What is your name? Uh, it's Mike. Mike Delaney. Very good. Occupation? Uh, well, now I'm unemployed, but I was in the U.S. Army. I was deployed to Iraq. Oh. Yeah. What's your date of birth? June 27th, 91. Oh, you're a Cancer. I'm a Pisces. Oh yeah, are they supposed to get along well? Yeah, actually. They're both water signs. I guess if you believe in that kind of thing. I do. And what do you remember about the accident? Uh, that, I, nothing. I'd just gotten home and I, Yes, and your wife said you were celebrating your return. I, I, I don't remember. I walked in the house and, and then uh, I don't rem remember anything else after that. Okay, well, it might come back. In stressful situations, the brain is flooded with chemicals that can stop long-term memories from being formed. But sometimes those memories return and... You know, we don't know how long it would take, but time will tell. And how long have you been married for? Uh, a little over a year, um, but I was deployed for most of that. Right, and how long ago did you join the Army? Um, I signed up when I was 27. I was a late starter. Hmm. And what were you doing before that? Uh, I was a mechanic. Um, I was saving up to open my own business, but um, I lost all my money in an online scam. And I was so desperate that I just joined a few days later. Yeah. So now that you're discharged, are you going to try again? Yeah, I've been uh, quietly saving up for a while now. Got about 50000 so far. Oh, good for you. Just make sure to get that life insurance. A lot of people might want to get their hands on it. Yeah, don't worry, I have it. I have it. Mr. Delaney, I just dropped by to let you know we contacted your wife. Wanted to let her know that you're awake and alert. She'll be coming by soon. Oh, man. She must be freaking out. I wouldn't know. <laughs> have you seen her? Has she been here recently? Well, I'm not here all the time, but, but she was here when you admitted. I can't even remember how my uh, homecoming went. I, I don't remember anything. Your wife said that you went to get some wine to celebrate, and that's when you got into the car accident. Wine? That doesn't make any sense. Why? I don't drink.
What's he been saying? Something about $50,000 he's been saving up. He never told me about that. <laughs> well, as long as his insurance money's paid up, we can just invest it in the baby's college fund. I can't believe he survived the crash. Hey, don't blame me. I made sure his brakes were cut. He just got lucky. And how long is that luck going to last? Until the insulin kicks in. What do you mean? You see, if you inject insulin into a non-diabetic person, it can lead to a hypoglycemic coma and then death. So all I have to do is get about uh, 600 units into him and it's lights out for Mikey. You know, it really is the perfect way to kill someone. No traces at all. At least, nothing that points to a crime. And since I'll be injecting it right into his IV, there won't be any evidence of injection marks. The perfect crime. Uh-huh. And the perfect ending to a very big problem with a $50,000 cherry on top of the cake. Slip into his room later and give him the fatal dose. Then our problem just goes away. I want to be there when you do it. So I can see with my own eyes just how much me and the baby mean to you. I think that's legal, Doc. Mike. Mr. Delaney, you surprised me. I, I didn't realize you were awake. Uh, I've got a little bit of that painkiller you asked for. Yeah, a real painkiller. One that kills pain and everything else, too, including the person you injected into. Nurse Oakland, you, you've got it all wrong. I was just going to administer some of yeah, this. Yeah, some of this insulin, I know. I've got it all on tape here. It can lead to a hypoglycemic coma. It's the perfect way to kill someone, because it doesn't leave any traces. The security is on its way now. You're not gonna get out of this one. Look, this is silly. I only came here to see my husband. Oh. For my daddy. I can't wait for us to meet. I love you so much, Anne. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were ever coming home. I was so lonely and desperate. Desperate enough to kill me? I don't believe your tears for a little second, Anne. And you, you slept with my wife. You got her pregnant. And you cut the brakes on my car to try to kill me. And when that didn't work, you were going to fake an overdose with that insulin. It's quite the Hippocratic Oath you took there, Doc. Now, wait a, wait a minute here, Mr. Delaney. Oh, you wait a minute. You're lucky I'm in this bed. All right, get out of here and beat your head in. You wouldn't leave here alive, I promise. But you will leave alive, except in handcuffs. You're so glad. Did you get the proof? It's all in here. Besides, he still has his insulin in his hand. Take Dr. Turncroft to my office. I'm calling the police. You too, Missy. The staff in this hospital is really something. You got murderous doctors. I wonder what the nurses are like. People like him are far and few in between, I can assure you of that. And how's your memory doing? 
Still a little fuzzy. I'm starting to remember the, uh, the argument. And the brake's not working. It's kind of like my marriage, I guess. Because that wasn't working either. I'm really sorry you had to go through all that. You're a true hero, and that's the homecoming you get. Slept with my wife and he tried to kill me. It's the best homecoming ever. But there is silver lining, though. Yeah, what's that? I got to meet you. Do you ever uh, want to go out sometime? I'd like that. Hey guys, what did you think about the video? Do you have a similar exciting story to tell? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll use it in our next video. We're publishing new short stories every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to be the first to see the new Secret Diaries.